there's been increasing concern about two different things. One is that the honeybees, so the bees that we're providing in a box, are finding it harder and harder to live in our agricultural landscapes. And when I say that, I'm talking about the whole world. This is not just a problem for Australia. This is a problem that the whole world is thinking about. So when you see stuff on the news about, oh, bees are in decline, often what they really mean is that one particular kind of bee, the honeybee, is in decline. And that's not a bee that's native to Australia. That's a bee that um, evolved in Europe and North Africa. Um, but that's still a real issue because it's important to be able to provide the bees in a box when you need them as a farmer. But the other thing is um, we've got, well, in Australia we probably have um, three to 6,000 species of bee. We don't even know how many because there aren't enough people that study bees to answer that question. So we've got all of these um, wild species. Globally, there's probably 20,000 or more species of bee. Um, and then there's other insects um, that, are, that are contributing to pollination. And they're not necessarily um, declining for the same reasons that honeybees are declining, but they, they are threatened by uh, loss of habitats and uh, the presence of insecticides on farms, just um, in, in the same way that many, um, much of nature is. So when you read about bee decline, that's often really what it's talking about, is the risk that we're losing honeybees and we might be losing wild bees, and that can be causing problems for the production of food. Uh, but there's a lot more nuance to that story. I want to tell you that we're not at, it's not quite the crisis that's painted in the, in, the, um, in the media sometimes, but there are some real issues, really important issues, that, um, that we're, we as researchers are trying to help to understand better and provide better ways both of producing food, but also creating an environment that's better for humans to live in.